I started hearing voices that weren't there during my freshman year in college. At first, I was sure they were coming from the people around me. My teachers plotting to fail me out of school. I was terrified. I had worked so hard to get into college, and I didn't want to let my family down. I tried to ignore the voices, but they just got louder and angrier. I couldn't focus in class, and being around anyone made me anxious. It was unbearable. So I started skipping class and stayed in my dorm room for days. Then one afternoon, my friend Anna found me in my room, yelling and pacing in the middle of a psychotic episode. For people living with schizophrenia, the period of time when symptoms first appear is often filled with uncertainty and fear. While Jasmine is fictional, her story highlights some of the common experiences of people living with schizophrenia. It may feel hopeless at first, but as we follow her story, you'll see how early, whole person treatment and a committed support system can help people live a fulfilling and meaningful life. When I saw Anna at the door, her face was a mix of alarm, fear, but then it was like she saw something familiar. I remember sitting on the floor shaking and telling her I was scared. I didn't know this before, but Anna has a brother with schizophrenia. When she found me like that, she knew I needed someone familiar to comfort me. I wish I had known earlier this wasn't something I did wrong, that I'm not a monster, and I am not dangerous. Thankfully, Anna knew this and convinced me to get help. Schizophrenia is a chronic or long-term illness affecting the brain. Schizophrenia is not the same as split personality or multiple personality disorder. And living with schizophrenia does not mean that you are dangerous or violent. Developing schizophrenia is not a result of something you did. It is not your fault. It is not your parents' fault. With the right support, recovery from schizophrenia is possible. The symptoms of schizophrenia often develop gradually and the diagnosis is generally made in the late teens to early 20s for men and the mid to late 20s for women. In Jasmine's case, her illness was discovered early, when she was a freshman in college. Early diagnosis is so important because it allows you to begin effective treatment as soon as possible. This can help ensure that a diagnosis of schizophrenia does not mean that life will be drastically different from what someone like Jasmine had hoped it would be. After I was diagnosed, I'd say the hardest thing was thinking that my symptoms would never stop. Some of my symptoms change, but most of them have been there for a while. I hear voices that no one else hears. These can be so distracting that I can't focus long enough to make everyday decisions. Everyone experiences schizophrenia differently. What Jasmine describes are positive symptoms or exaggerated ideas or actions that indicate challenges in discerning what is real and what is not. These most typically include delusions or fixed false beliefs and hallucinations or sensory experiences that feel real but only exist in the mind. People with schizophrenia may also experience negative symptoms like a loss of interest in normal activities or difficulty with social interactions. Lastly, there are cognitive symptoms, like difficulty focusing or taking in information. Just like Jasmine, you may feel like your thoughts are out of place or like your mind might be playing tricks on you. Part of coping with schizophrenia involves recognizing the types of symptoms you experience and the warning signs for these symptoms. This will help you and your loved ones identify when you need to reach out for support in managing them. Treatment also means learning about healthy coping skills to care for yourself in these moments. Day to day, you can prevent or control symptoms by controlling stress in your life. This means that on top of taking any medications regularly, you need to get enough sleep and avoid activities or substances that negatively impact your emotions. A healthy amount of physical activity can also help control your symptoms and help you feel good. At first, I had no idea what treatment meant. I was scared medication would make me feel low. I really want to finish school, and I don't want to have any more issues with my social life than I already do. 
So I was amazed when my doctor started talking about it, that treatment means taking a lot of different steps to help me live how I want to live. Successful treatment for schizophrenia has one's goals at the center of the care plan. You should be prepared to play an active role in making decisions alongside your care team about what treatment will look like. This means thinking of both yourself and your providers as experts. You're an expert in your experience and goals, while your care team has expert knowledge of effective treatment options. For example, an effective treatment plan for Jasmine includes medication to decrease the symptoms of schizophrenia. But she and her psychiatrist work together to make sure medications are supportive of her goals and not getting in the way. And treatment is much more than medication. Jasmine's plan is coordinated with a team of people to support her. It involves cognitive behavioral therapy that teaches ways to cope with what she is dealing with on a daily basis. Jasmine wants to finish college and build a career, so she works with specialists to help navigate her educational and professional needs in the context of schizophrenia. We will often connect people with a peer specialist too, someone who can relate to the experience of living with schizophrenia and share some strategies for coping. We even talk about exercise as an important way to help with cognition that can also help with coping. The whole treatment plan seemed like a lot. I already get overwhelmed as it is. It took a couple of months to feel comfortable, but things really got better when I set up a routine and let my close friends and family know about it. Anna even volunteered to come to some of my appointments. I started to see how this was helping. I was able to reconnect with friends and with the things I love to do. My mom could see it too. You could tell she was relieved. Managing schizophrenia takes effort and a support system. You need to be honest with all of us about how you are feeling and what you want to accomplish. The more closely your treatment aligns with your goals, the more likely you are to see a benefit. When you meet with your care team, be sure to specify your goals, write down and describe issues with medications or other aspects of treatment that are working or are not working, and talk about ways others can support you. Encourage your family members and friends to educate themselves about schizophrenia, including listening to the stories of others who are living with schizophrenia. In reality, there is not one answer for treatment of schizophrenia. It is a constant discussion that is always refocusing on what is important and what is effective. But early treatment can help mitigate your symptoms and improve your quality of life. The most important thing for me has been to stay engaged with my treatment. When it gets hard, I have to try to be patient with myself. But remember that I have bigger goals. Now I am on my way to graduating. I turn to people I trust for support so I can be open and honest about how I am feeling and what I need as I work towards recovery. If you or someone you love is beginning to experience mental health challenges, follow the links below for more information and to find resources in your local area.